kidding. Are we, are we, oh, we're up! I don't need a microphone, oh my goodness. All right, Death Bedford, everybody, come on, how we doing so far? Now, I'm going to be popping back and forth as I kind of guiding and navigating what's going on here. Now, uh, Def on stage with us the whole performance, pretty much, but we've got lots of friends for benefits that will be joining us on stage, all right? So people kind of sneaking their way on and sharing their talents. And typically, I do not look at scripts. What I do is just kind of toss them aside, but this one was written so cute. Bob, where did he go? Bob, I had to do this, so here it goes. So those of you that are parents that know what it's like to have to go to the parties for your kids, the school PTA stuff, right? Collectively, wah, wah, wah. Just something that we do. That's not in the script, by the way, ad -libbed. Well, that's uh, pretty much the discovery of our first guest of Friends for Benefits, right? When Jack reluctantly attended the Reed Elementary third grade party a few years ago, he was shocked and a much different night was about to unfold for him. First and foremost, a live band in the hostess living room for starters, and then, oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about here, and then the mother of his daughter's friends, yep, that's right, a Reed mom was rocking out on the drums and bringing down the house for what made for a pretty outstanding PTA party, as you guys can imagine. So tonight, throwing it down on the drums, rocking out mom style, and Simon Cancer Center, Friends for Benefits uh, of style. This is Sophie Lou. I'm so strong now. I'm high as a kite. I dance with my eyes. I'll be 